here in Reykjavik, Iceland, for Still. video 10 of Gastrogaze Do Eurovision 2017. My name is Russell. My name is Patrick. And it is snowing very heavily right now, but we're still here to bring a video into your lives. In this video, we are going to talk about the acts and the songs from the following countries. Russia, Lithuania, and Norway. This is the first time we have heard all these songs, so we know nothing about them, exactly how it's gonna be for millions of people across Europe in May, and that's what we're gonna do to judge these songs. Now, we'll admit, the first song we're listening to, which is Russia, I have read a few things about it because seemingly, it's causing a bit of controversy, but hey ho, what is your vision without controversy? Let's get to it and let's listen to these songs. So for Russia, a Eurovision 2017, it's Julia Samalova. And the song title is Flame is Burning. Let's have a listen. Okay, thoughts on Russia's entry for this year? I really love that song. Yeah, I really, I'm really you. think it's it's a late one in the game yeah. and I think you can always count on Russia to send an incredible pop track mm. to Eurovision and they didn't disappoint yet again. No, so. they really didn't. And actually, they, I was, as I was listening to it, it reminded me of many songs over the years that maybe I might not have liked initially, and then I kept playing them on repeat many, many years yeah. later. And this is one of these songs that I'm sure I will be listening to in a couple of years. It is very, very catchy. It's very, very good. And it has that classic feel. Yeah. Now, if you're going to compare like for like, say, with last year, last year was everything in the kitchen sink thrown yes. at it. And it was a very good song, if not one of the best songs in the competition as the votes dictated. Um, I don't foresee this doing as well as maybe last year's, only because the song doesn't seem to grab your attention as much in terms of its lyrics or the way it sounds in particular, but it's a beautiful pop number. Yeah. It's a really, really nice ballad, a really nice pop number, and I think it might do very, very well. Yeah, I think it will definitely get into the final. Yeah. In the final, I'm not sure about a top 10 placing. I have high hopes for it, but I would I'm not so think, sure. I would think it will either just get into the top 10 or just miss it. It's going to be in that kind of couple of positions around it. But it's a beautiful song. I can't complain about that. I'm yep. very happy. Thank you, Russia, for a nice song. Really happy with that. Okay, on to the next one for this video. We are talking about Norway. And the artist for Norway this year is Joust, and their song is Grab the Moment. Hmm. So did Norway grab the moment for you? No. I'm actually a little bit annoyed at this song only because the chorus is brilliant. The chorus really, really is catchy. I do like find myself singing along with it, bopping along with it, etc. But the rest of the song is awful. Like, I really don't like it. The beginning of it didn't grab my attention at all, other than the fact that I was like, this ain't great. As I moved into the chorus, I was like, okay, that's an improvement. And when, you know, it was just there, it snatched it all back and ruined it for me. I'm not in love with this, and I'm really disappointed in Norway. I disagree. Oh, I knew you would. Yeah. I can tell by your face. <laughs> I think it's... You cannot compare this to anything else. No, I agree with uh, that. I think it's a really refreshing track and style to enter Eurovision. I think it's good on Norway to enter something like this because historically they've come last the most times. Yes. And this is the type of song I think will either come in the top five or will come last. Yeah. So you've got to give it to Norway for trying something and putting it out there. I like that it's a bit rap, it's a bit electro, it's a bit funk. I think this could do really well. I really don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm completely in agreement with what you're saying about it being different, different style of music and everything. I just aren't feeling it. I just aren't? I just aren't, like, <laughs> no, I just am not feeling it uh, at all. I don't, I don't know why. I don't know what it is. This is one of those songs that uh, I think in the semi-finals, and this is in semi-final two, that at the last moment it will get one of the last spots. Okay. And it will have everyone kind of guessing all the way along. I'm excited to see this performed live. I'm not sure about the DJ thing. Give me time. Give me time. I say by the time May comes along, I'll be the biggest fangirl for this song by then, so who knows. Okay, we are flying through these. Can you tell it's heavily snowing here? Last for this video is Lithuania. Uh, the name of this song is Reign of Revolution. And it's by Fusemark. Okay. Lithuania. Uh oh, you're looking at the ground. That's never a good sign. It sounds like a fast food commercial. 
<laughs> Can you imagine KFC in Lithuania having this as... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't can. appreciate songs where they whisper the verse and then s- literally scream the chorus at me, yelling, uh, which is becoming a little bit of a trend, yeah. I think, at Eurovision, and it needs to stop right now. Yeah. This moment, please. Uh, yeah, not on board with this at all, and I really hope it does not get into the final. Um, this song took me on a journey. At first, it went through a dark tunnel. And then chorus wise, I was with her. And then it's the screaming, yeah, 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 that had me back into no, that no. tunnel. No, 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 no. I'm afraid I'm not in love with this song at all. I just don't even think a couple of listens to it will make me like it anymore. There's a lot of screaming. I don't like vocalists shouting. I, it, it never appeals to me because it can come across as aggressive and I know it's about revolution and viva la people and everything like that but it just it just didn't do anything for me at all it's um, also a little bit 80s sounding I think or 90s or something it it just isn't anything new or exciting it doesn't feel like a 21st century song no um, I don't foresee this getting through but then again Lithuania I think we said exactly the same last year we didn't have a hope in hell of that song getting through and lo and behold it did so you know well, you know. he flipped on stage, so I mean, that probably got him that the bulk of vote. Okay, so Russia, yeah. Norway, eh, eh. And it has us torn. Yeah, and then Lithuania. That's a good summary. That's it for this episode. It does seem that we only have one more review video left to do, which is crazy. And we'll be back in our lovely London flat for that probably not being snowed on and getting hypothermia but hey and it will be the perfect end to round out this entire series if there's anything in particular that you liked about the series or that you didn't like or any how about how about talking about the things you liked mainly that would be great basically tell us what you want from us about eurovision and if you enjoyed our content yeah please do leave a comment drop us a message on twitter or anything like that but until the next video thank you for watching Bye from Iceland. Get inside and freezing.